kind of stick on the, the brain as well, obviously. We've seen videos, or I've seen videos especially of stroke victims or dementia patients or people with serious brain injuries literally losing their whole livelihood through the injuries they've had. Yet when it comes to listening to music, they mm -hmm. recite every word or remember the songs which, which I find incredible because for me, dementia and Alzheimer's especially is one that's probably is the saddest illness I've come across. I remember losing a whole life, but yet when it comes to listening to music, you can remember everything. I mean, what is happening in the brain when this happens? Do you, certain sections of the brain kind of keep that memory locked in there and not get damaged or what, what's happening mm -hmm. exactly? So, so these victims can still remember music after injury. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, in the, in, and in the case of Alzheimer, it, it, it seems that the musical abilities are, are preserved. So, you know, it is always important to, to specify which pathology, which mm. disease, right? Because they have different things in the, in the brain. But for example, stroke is something very localized, right? And it's, it's mainly in the front or, or in the middle. So they, have, they may have trouble speaking or remember things. Um, but um, there are others like Alzheimer, which is a type of, of dementia, right? Mm -hmm. uh, we, we, for, we forget things, cognitive abilities start to deteriorate. The, we have others like Parkinson's, which is more a motor uh, disease, but you know, with the, with the, in the late stages, there's also that, uh, dementia. Uh, so, and it has to do uh, a little bit overall or of how these musical memories are acquired in the brain, right? So when we practice or when we do something, these connections, uh, we repeat them, they, they, became, they become stronger, right? Mm -hmm. Stronger, stronger. And then when we go to sleep, our memories then are consolidated in another area, mm -hmm. okay? So uh, this area where memories are consolidated, it is also segmented or segregated within, mm -hmm. within itself. So there are several functions that will be preserved, several that, that will be not, right? Mm -hmm. And and for example, it has seen that you know sleep uh, habits are very important to not getting dementia because then you allow your memories to stick to to save them in the in the hard drive, right? And since music is a very pleasurable thing to do for us humans, and and we often listen to our favorite music over and over and over again. That may lead to some theories of, about you know, why it's late stages of dementia. Dementia, there's all there's there's still some some memory of music because you know uh, also music is very related to emotions, right? Mm -hmm. So you know you, you know that sometimes you hear uh, a song mm -hmm. and it completely mm -hmm. transports you to a moment or a kiss or whatever, right? Yeah. And um, so when when this uh, learning is associated with pleasure uh, then it's more consolidated you know in our brain yeah because you asked my next question now actually because i was listening to a sleep expert, expert called matthew walker i think his name was and mm -hmm. he mentions that when you do he obviously mentions like you just said the importance of sleep how incredibly important it is and it's consolidating memory and so forth while you sleep is it true that when you're sleeping that the day's activities say are being moved around at 20 times the speed of how you did it during the day or something is that correct or 30 times faster you mean the dreams the dreams or when you're actually dreams. say you you practice say a section of music for say three or four hours you can't get it but then the next day after you slept mm. on it it's worked it out again 20 times faster or something along those lines yeah, I mean, it, it is it is a whole universe that yeah. of the dreams, right? Yeah. But uh, it seems that, and there are different stages of sleep, right? Mm -hmm. And there's one called the REM, mm -hmm. where it seems that it's when we are consolidated and we have movement of our oh, eyes. Movement, yeah. Uh, and, and yeah, I mean, it, it is very difficult because it's very subjective. We cannot, you know, wake them up and say, what were you <laughs> dreaming? It's very difficult. Yeah. But it seems that it's this kind of, uh, you kind of repeat 
our dreams. You repeat it a, a lot of time, and you think it was only one time, but you actually repeat it. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, it's fascinating. I don't know much about that. I know I know only about music for for example for insomnia that it works, but uh, but but yeah, I don't know about you know how fast we 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 plan. Uh, another thing you know which is very useful for for musicians is to 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 mentally recreate the movements for example mm. but when you do too much and you, we, we go back to the overdoing things you can end up dreaming about it yeah. and sometimes it, it is not that uh, pleasurable right yeah, of uh, course you yeah start what we call to to ruminate you start thinking about the same thing about the same thing and it's very annoying yeah, yeah. <laughs>